I'm Skip Knowles with Wildfowl Predator Nation and North American Elk Magazines. With me here today is Andy McCormick from Legacy Sports. Andy, last time we spoke, you were awfully excited about a new shotgun and a, and a new rifle offering. Yeah, uh, I've got with me today uh, those two items that we discussed. And the first one is the Howa, uh, the new Carbon Stalker series that we're coming out with uh, uh, for 2021. Uh, pretty exciting from a variety of levels, quite honestly, from a very lightweight uh, approach to the Howa uh, Mini Action is the one that I have in hand right here. Excit exciting from a point from the Mini Action, it really is going to take it to another level of what we've been offering before in the Mini Action series. We've now come up with a custom carbon fiber stock design for this wonderful little Mini Action that is now going to bring this rifle in at 4.11 pounds in weight. That's just insane, crazy light. That is so cool. I love to hunt the high mountains, so that'll be really nice. Probably my new Predator gun. Tell us about some of the calibers it comes in and, and how you got to, that gun has a steel barrel, right? Yeah, it's a steel barrel, but still going to be pushed with the carbon series because of the stock and the custom fit. Nice and snug, pre-floated. Uh, got a beautiful bedding system with the, the nice integral lug that comes with the Howa Action. Nice, big, bold front lug, one-piece system that is going to bed in there rock solid and just and it really adds to that inherent accuracy that we're known for out of the Howard rifles from the 1500 series to the mini actions as well. So it's all it's all uh, priced extremely well too. You know it's going to be under a thousand dollars to to the consumer for pretty much a poor man's mountain rifle at an awesome price. You know and growing up in the, in the woods of Pennsylvania myself, being an avid whitetail hunter. You know, this and say a 6.5 Grendel, uh, one of the premier calibers that we sell this day, uh, this would have been the gun I would have definitely took to the woods if it was available for chasing whitetails in the woods of Pennsylvania or climbing a tree stand and needing to have a, a nice lightweight gun, a, a nice short compact gun for swinging in the woods, uh, but as well also a great coyote gun or a gun out west for antelope or a gun for coos deer or a gun for blacktail. It fits a lot of narratives, honestly, but also available in 223 and 762 by 39, uh, which has actually grown uh, in popularity with us in a bolt action gun because we did it the right way. We did the right uh, bore diameter. We did the right throating and fit uh, for the chamber for it to actually be an accurate round and an inexpensive load. So. But overall, it comes with all the great features you're used to in the Howard rifles, you know, a, a three position safety. So it locks the bolt down. It also can be at midpoint where you can open the bolt up on safe and unload it, you know, and quite honestly, in my opinion, every rifle should be built like that. But more importantly, if you're going through the brush, it doesn't open, your bolt doesn't open up, you can keep it locked down. If you're climbing a tree, you can keep it locked down or you can have it wide open. Uh, just a great safety feature all around. It's got the same great uh, two-stage uh, hack trigger system in it like you have in the Howa 1500. So it's got a little, a little bit of nice uh, movement in the, in the trigger right out of the gate, and then you get that first little bit of resistance and then snap, a nice crisp 2.7-pound trigger. Uh, nice detachable mag system. Yeah, so it's got a lot of great uses to be put, put in motion. Well, Andy, that is one sinister, evil-looking gun. I love it. I love the detachable box magazine, too. You had a shotgun you were pretty excited to tell us about as well. We've got a new uh, new shotgun series this year in the over-under market. We've come out with what you call the Acreus uh, series in the over-unders uh, under the pointer logo uh, that we bring in in 12, 20, 28, 410, and then also a 410 and 20 U series. This shotgun is, is, is a great you know, field entry level model, if you will, with nice Turkish walnut. It's got nice stippling on the forend as well as on the pistol grip. It's got a laser etched uh, scrolled receiver, crisp mechanical triggers, uh, barrel selectors for over and under status. It, you know, it's got five choke tubes that come with it. Uh, it's got extractors, not ejectors. It's got a nice raised vent rib as well on top, real good target acquisition and uh, swings really nice, good weight distribution. And again, coming into the market at like 589 for an, a beautiful entry level shotgun and all the way up and down in the sub gauges as well. So uh, yeah, pretty exciting to have this uh, in the lineup again this year uh, in the Acreus model. 
That's some really pretty engraving for an affordable shotgun. It really is. And the uh, explosion in uh, really quality non-toxic steel shell alternatives have, has really exploded the interest in um, using sub gauges for waterfowl. It's become a real big thing. Yeah, sub gauges for waterfowl and even sub gauges for uh, the turkey hunting realm where you always thought you had to shoot a 12 gauge three inch number five. Uh, there's so many people shooting four tens even. And of course, these will be available down the road as well in a black synthetic model and some camel models that we do too. Uh, that was my next question. What other models you're going to have? That looks like a really amazing shotgun and a lot of, a couple of really use, useful guns there. Just like the Stalker rifle, it looks like you guys thought about all, about all the features possible on it. So thanks for sharing them with us today. Legacy has some great innovation going on, it looks like. Keep up the good work and, and thanks for joining us. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.